Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button because we are now back for some coastal Carolina Dynasty here on the channel. And you can see our recruiting class giving you a quick, quick recruiting up, update. We got six commits and they were pretty much our top six guys pretty much. And just looking at the standings after that loss to Georgia State, we are actually in a weird position one and four in conference but everybody else in our division is doing poorly with the maybe exception of Appalachian State they are four and two who we are going up against this week and hopefully we can pull out a win that would really shake up our division for sure because the other division they're taking care of business and we are not so you see the difference man they are the number 11 total offense in the nation and the number two total defense in the nation this is gonna be tough this team is loaded and you can see their leaders thomas 14 touchdowns four interceptions jalen moore he's run for over 500 yards this is going to be tough on the road so here we go we're underway as coastal starts out this game on defense and here is jalen moore already getting the pass i do not know what cedric granger was doing on that he just like kind of let him run past him and he, he gives up the first down but on the next play here is jalen moore one more time giving a tough stiff arm to anthony lorenz and here he is getting the ball to evans this time and that's six yards so now inside a field goal range here is williams jr the backup running back and somehow breaks a couple of tackles and gets in for the touchdown i don't know how the heck he got through that and made it into the end zone but it's 7-0 just like that that was like less than six plays on that drive and this coastal defense continues to struggle continues to give up points as curtain comes back on our offense with this kind of young offense so now on a third and nine facing some pressure but he's going to be hit on the throw and we're going to have to punt it back to Appalachian State but on the next drive a little sign of life there there's Frederick who's actually been having some pretty nice games lately I mean that's actually not Frederick that's Danny Armstead having some nice games lately and I like what I'm seeing from him and he's definitely going to need to be a leader on this defense so on uh first and 10 here is evans getting the ball one more time and we get him down to at least a third and one and there is the penetration that we were talking about led by our senior anthony lorenz now turn free safety from cornerback and they do try to settle for the long field goal but that one is not even close so now we take back over here close to the 50 yard line here is coastal running the ball with jimbo brown but can't pick up the first but you can see curtains kind of shook in this game he knows this is a top two defense literally top two one and two there are only two teams in the nation that are that have this great a defense and they're one as they get another punt so here is jalen moore getting the handoff you know almost breaks that one if it wasn't for ian hartman tripping him up on that one so now on a first and ten here he is giving a mean stiff arm to our best defender cedric granger and picking up eight yards so now on a second and two on a pitch play here's jalen moore getting the first down but look flag on the play that's going to be a clipping so now we get him back for a third and 15 here Got to come up with a stop on a third and long, and they choose to run the draw play. But look at Williams Jr. He finds some running lane Bruh. and somehow picks up the first down. I mean, just what can go wrong is going wrong so far in this game. But nice hit that time by Cedric Granger as he gets the tackle for loss. But on a second and 11 on the next play, here is Jalen Moore getting the hand off to the outside. Makes a defender miss, and he's going to go into the end zone untouched and Appalachian State goes up 14-0 already in this first quarter so here is Curtin coming back out on the field throwing the ball to the left and you can see that's a little inaccurate on that luckily Amari Manuel does go up and get it and that's going to be a first 
down. So now here is Appalachian State with that defense and Curtin with that accuracy. It's not a good recipe for success, but he does get a throw in there. Mari Manuel kind of got a little speed burst that time, and he picks up the reception. So now towards the end of the first quarter, here's Jimbo Brown getting the handoff to the right side, and that is going to be a four-yard gain. So now we are on to the second quarter here as Amari Manuel getting open across the middle, moving the chain. So now if we can score, we can make it a seven-point game as Jimbo Brown tries to get some running room, but this defense is so fast. They swarm to the ball like no other. So now facing a third and nine, some pressure from all angles. We had nowhere to go on that one, and Curtin is hit on the throw, and he is going to have to punt this one away along with this offense as Jalen Moore breaking a couple of tackles in the backfield and somehow picks up six. Danny Armstead on the tackle. So now on a third and four, here is Henning. What is that, Henningen? And getting the reception that time, Thomas Hennigan, and he's going to move the chain. So here's Thomas here back in a shotgun, but this time is going to get swallowed up by a gain. It takes three guys to get him down. Nigel Bolin does come up with the tackle and we do get them to punt the ball away. So now we're trying to get the running game going. Four minutes left in this half. I mean, we got to kind of put something together here, but not with that accuracy. Kashawn Curtin starting out this game 4 of 12, and that's not what you want to see from your starting quarterback as he throws to the outside to the left, and Angel Gonzalez, the redshirt freshman, can't hang on to that one. So we punt the ball right back. So now here's Appalachian stay back on the next drive, but nice pass breakup that time by Anthony Lorenz. So now we get him down to a third and 13. Thomas under center. He's throwing to Williams Jr., the backup running back, and Cedric Granger on the tackle. So we do get the punt. So we do have two minutes left. We can put together a little two-minute drill, get some of our points back, and on the first play getting Kashawn Curtin a nice easy throw get his confidence up, and he gets it to the left side. So now here he is from the shotgun, throwing across the middle. Another completion to Amari Manuel. So now on a second and 10 here, a minute 40 left in this half. Here he is throwing to the right side, and we thought we had his confidence back, but nope, Sam Forbes is overthrown, and the defense comes up with it so now here is Appalachian State back out on the next drive with great field position as Thomas throws a nice pass that time over the middle and here he is taking it himself and breaking a couple of tackles I mean how is he getting all these yards he's a quarterback not supposed to be dragging guys like that and he picks up the first down so now here a minute left in this half here is Thomas finding his receiver one more time, but this time giving it off to Moore and Jalen Moore getting inside the five-yard line. So, man, can we keep this offense off the field? Can we stop Jalen Moore? But look at him. I mean, he is a monster as he breaks a couple of tackles and gets in for the touchdown. So we go into halftime. Almost down by 21 points, but we have 40 seconds left in this half. But on the first play, Wesley David is actually in. Something must have happened to Kashawn Curtin. For some reason, he's off the field, and I have no idea. It must be a undisclosed injury, but Wesley David gives the ball back to Appalachian State, and look at them. I mean, they are just capitalizing off of this field position as Evans gets the pass on that one down to the one but luckily Ian Hartman does get the sack so takes him off of the goal line and we do get them to settle for the field goal so we go into halftime down 24 to nothing and here's Alan King starting out the second half with a kick return a nice kick return maybe that sparks a little life but you can see we didn't even get 80 yards on offense in the first half. So we got to do something here. Down by four scores as Jimbo Brown gets the uh, catch across the middle and picking up a nice six yards. But on a third and four, I mean, Wesley David just looks like he's not ready 
for this game. He wasn't warmed up. A sudden injury to Curtin. I don't know what happened, but he's out for the game as another big carry here from Jalen Moore, and he takes it all the way to the house, and just like that, it is 31 to nothing. So now here in the second half, I mean, we just need to get some type of points on the board, whether it's a field goal, I don't care, whatever it is. We just need to get on the board with Wesley David at quarterback. Here he is rolling out to the right side, finding Sam Forbes on the outside, dragging his feet, nice catch that time. So now on a first and 10, here's Jimbo Brown getting a nice carry, eight yards on that one. And now we're close to the 50 yard line on a second and two. Here's Wesley David finally getting some running room of his own he can move a little bit and he slides down now we are we are past the 50 as now three minutes left in this quarter and look at this defense i mean they just continue to swarm the ball it's like you can't pass you can't throw what can you do as we try to go deep on this one and that one is thrown right into the middle of traffic so we are in four down territory we do decide to go for it on a fourth and nine and we lob it to the left side nice pitch and catch that time angel gonzalez holding on to that one he did drop a pass earlier in the game but this one's more important picks up the first down so now here is wesley david and he just can't get going here as another inaccurate ball comes out of his hands but on a couple of plays later he does find amari manual for the first down so now here towards the 15 yard line wide open in the end zone is Amari Manuel nice route that time nice throw by David and picks up the touchdown that was an easy pitching catch and yes we finally get on the board but it might be a little too late as Thomas is just in control of this offense finding Evans once again on the outside it's been the Jalen Evans everybody I mean everybody's killing us as here is Jalen Moore once again 22 yards on that handoff and here he is once again getting another handoff and breaking a couple of tackles getting eight yards on that one so now facing a third and two here towards the end of the third quarter this time finding another receiver Williams for the first down so now they're inside the 15 yard line here is Jalen Moore picking up a couple of blocks, but we do get him stopped for a six-yard gain. So now here is Williams Jr., the backup running back. Already has the touchdown in this one, but gets five yards, gets the first down. So now they're down inside the five-yard line on a second and goal, and Jalen Moore finishes it off. And even the arm at the end when he's in the end zone to Cedric Granger just shows. I mean, this team is just straight up better than us I mean it's just that simple we just did not show up on the road as we are continuing to just try to air the ball out here seven minutes left to start the fourth quarter as here is JJ getting the catch on the outside that's the first time I've seen him in this game his first catch and he goes for 13 yards but on a first and 10 here is Wesley David rolling out to the right and that one is going to be caught by the transfer, Jack Kleck. So now on a first and 10, throwing to the outside is Max Moriarty getting the reception. And we do move the ball past the 50-yard line. So here's Wesley David one more time to the redshirt freshman, Angel Gonzalez. He's definitely earned his way to more playing time as he continues to catch the ball over the middle here for the first down so now can we put another touchdown on the board maybe let's see play action fake four and a half minutes left but we forced that one into traffic and that was just more of a prayer than anything just trying to make something out of this mockery of a game and Josh Thomas seals the victory as if we were even going to have a chance of coming back and we end up losing this game 45 to 7 they score one more touchdown and from the beginning i mean it was just evident they had a top two defense a top 15 offense and it was too much for us to handle so on the defensive side i mean i can't really say anybody had a great game uh 
Ian Hartman had an okay game. Cedric Granger had a ton of tackles as well, but he did miss a couple. But, I mean, just not too much to say here. I mean, Coastal is just coasting. I mean, to be honest, I, I just feel like the sense of urgency each game just isn't there. I don't know what the deal is. We're going to have to start making some depth chart movements because I'm sick of losing these games. I mean, this, this feeling sucks. It, it really sucks. 45 to 7 is no way to lose but I mean this was a tough team so maybe I am being too hard on this team but we definitely just need to do something we need a spark somewhere I don't know where I'm gonna get it from but hit subscribe hit that like button because we gotta keep going I mean we still have a chance to make the bowl game we are two and six but we gotta win out so stay tuned let's get it let's go